Once people working together for good, we're good. We need to highlight um, positive things in Jamaica. You know what I mean? We always have on the negatives, but we don't have on the, we don't really focus on the positives of what's going on in Jamaica. You understand what I'm saying? We have built a relationship with PSOJ, with the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the Jamaica Defense Force, and all of these organizations have come together, public sector, private sector partnership, right? Because when we realize that people are in need, right, in dire need, because COVID has really impacted our economy in a significant way, especially for the most vulnerable in our economy, we decided we had to step up. Mm -hmm. And who better to partner with, with the police force who have been building relationships and have been reforming their force, yes. a force for good, connecting with Jamaican people. So we are here to support the police force and to support our Jamaican people who are in the greatest of need. Mm -hmm. So we will walk the deepest and darkest of places to get to people who have real need. And most of the people are older, and they have, may have underlying conditions and the police have been facilitating the delivery of these packages right across the length and breadth of Jamaica, giving resources, building trust and love with the community. It's a wonderful thing. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is a force for good. These are the things that we are very enthused about doing because it takes us beyond the usual law enforcement activities to be touching lives. So since the program started, the JCF, we are the ones who have led on the distribution of the packages. So we have um, distributed over um, 60,000 packages right across the country, and these were delivered in homes. So we didn't, we didn't want to have the usual setting where people were crowding up at um, centers and so on to receive the packages because of the community that we were catering to, the elderly and the most vulnerable. So all the packages were taken to homes in the community and we have done that in St. Anne, we have done that in St. James, West Poland, Carindon, uh, Manchester, you name it. So we have been in various communities. It also gave us an opportunity as the police to interact with the people at a different level. During COVID time, it was a time when we saw us coming together as a force for good. Our, 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 our theme for that period and, and continues to be um, stronger together. So we were very happy to have partnered with PSOJ and all the other partners on this project. And it's coming up to the end of this phase now. And we are very, very pleased at the feedback that we have gotten. Persons have said thank you. Persons have expressed, you know, appreciation for seeing the force for good and the members from a different point of view. So we are very happy for the opportunity to have served our people in another capacity. Sometimes I hear police officers in vehicles over the PA system saying, John Brown, John Brown, please come and collect your care package. That's a part of this initiative. So we go out and we, because we want people to feel personally connected to it. It's, um, it's it For us, it's a little more than giving people a package. You know, we want to do it in a way that they feel dignified. We want them to, to do it in a way that we genuinely care about them. So we don't send it second and we don't drop it off anywhere. It's, it's added to persons yes. on a personal basis. So that is the personal um, importance that we put to these packages. Every two weeks we have been delivering packages. The police have been delivering the packages. The JDF organized the logistics effort for this program. The Jamaica Customs Agency provided truck, right? Private sector members have provided money, significant money, 130 million of cash, 60 million in kind. So it's a big effort. Yeah. But it was so seamlessly executed because once people working together for good, we're good.